Welcome to a lesson on Hamilton paths and Hamilton circuits. Let's begin by revisiting the graph for the seven bridges of Konigsberg problem shown below. Recall each vertex represents a landmass and each edge represents a bridge. Suppose you wanted to tour Konigsberg in such a way that you visit each landmass exactly once. This can be done. In graph theory terms, we are asking whether there is a walk which visits every vertex exactly once. Such a walk is called a Hamilton path or Hamiltonian path. We can also consider Hamilton cycles or Hamilton circuits, which are Hamilton paths which start and stop or start and end at the same vertex. Recall that a walk is a sequence of vertices such that consecutive vertices in the sequence are adjacent in the graph. And again, a Hamilton path or Hamiltonian path is a walk that visits each vertex of the graph exactly once. A Hamiltonian circuit or Hamiltonian cycle is a walk that visits each vertex of the graph exactly once, except the starting vertex, and starts and ends at the same vertex. Let's find a Hamiltonian path for the given graph, then also determine if there's a Hamiltonian circuit. We can begin with any vertex. Let's start here at the top. And now we need to form a walk that visits each vertex exactly once. So we can go down to the right, down to the left, and back up to this last vertex. We can stop here. This is a walk that visits each vertex exactly once. This is an example of a Hamilton path. But also notice from here, we can return back to the starting vertex without visiting any other vertex twice except the starting vertex. This would be an example of a Hamilton circuit. Let's find a different Hamilton path. Let's say this time we start over here on the right. If we go down to the left, up, and up, we can stop here. This is an example of a different Hamilton path. We have a walk that visits each vertex exactly once. And notice how I'm using arrows to show the walk. Sometimes you'll also see numbers to show the walk. And once again, if we continue the walk, we can go back to the starting vertex without visiting any other vertex more than once. This is an example of a different Hamilton circuit. The graph has several different Hamilton paths. The graph also has several different Hamilton circuits. And now let's look at some more examples. We want to determine whether the graphs below have a Hamilton path and or a Hamilton circuit. We can begin at any vertex. Let's start here at the top. And now we need to see if we can form a walk that visits each vertex exactly once. Let's go around the outside first. Now we need to go inside. Let's go ahead and go right, down to the left, up, and down to the right. We can end here. We have a walk that visits each vertex exactly once, and therefore the graph does have a Hamilton path. Notice how we're not able to return back to the starting vertex unless we revisit other vertices more than once, and therefore the graph does not have a Hamilton circuit. The graph has a Hamilton path. The graph does not have a Hamilton circuit. And now let's look at number two. Let's go ahead and start here at the top. Let's go down, over to the left, to the middle. Notice now I'm stuck. I'm not able to continue the walk without revisiting a vertex more than once. So it may appear as if the graph doesn't have a Hamilton path or a Hamilton circuit, but that's not always true. There may be a different result starting from a different vertex. So let's go ahead and start in the middle this time and try again. Let's go up to the right, down to the left, and up. Notice here we do have a Hamilton path. We can't get back to the starting vertex without visiting other vertices more than once, indicating there is no Hamilton circuit, but the graph does have a Hamilton path. Just because we're not able to find a Hamilton path or circuit on the first attempt doesn't mean they don't exist. So for number two, the graph has a Hamilton path, the graph does not have a Hamilton circuit. And now let's look at number three. Let's go ahead and start here in the upper right-hand corner. Let's go down. the left, 
to the middle, back up to the left. If we end here, we have a walk that visits each vertex exactly once, which is a Hamilton path. And if we continue, we can return back to the starting vertex. We also have a Hamilton circuit. So for number three, the graph has a Hamilton path. The graph also has a Hamilton circuit. And for the last graph, we should recognize something is off here. If we start at one of the vertices on the pentagon, at some point we have to visit one of the outer vertices, let's say here. And as soon as we visit this vertex, we're stuck. We cannot return without visiting the previous vertex more than once, which indicates this graph doesn't have a Hamilton path or a Hamilton circuit. It appears that finding Hamilton paths would be easier because graphs often have more edges than vertices, so there are fewer requirements to be met. However, nobody knows whether this is true. There's no known simple test for whether a graph has a Hamilton path. For small graphs, this is not a problem, but as the size of the graphs grow, it gets harder and harder to check whether there is a Hamilton path. In fact, this is an example of a question which as far as we know is too difficult for computers to solve. It is an example of a problem which is NP-complete. An NP-complete problem is a computational problem for which no efficient solution algorithm has been found. I hope you found this helpful.